Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x and y in this nice algebra equation? Yeah, let this be equation one, and this be equation two. And from here, subtract the equation two from one. We have equation one minus equation two. What's on the left hand side here becomes root x plus y in equation one. Then minus x plus root y. In equation 2, now equals to 28 minus 14 on the right hand side. That is from here. This minus open this bracket and we have root x plus y then minus x minus root y. Now equals to 14 on this side. Then here, let's rearrange. And here we have y minus x. Then we have minus root y. Then plus root x equals to 14 from here. Then also here we can write this as y minus x. Then minus into bracket root y minus root x then close bracket equals to 14 now what we have from here we can also write y as root y then square because square can be square root and we still have y so also x can be written as root x or square then minus into bracket we have root y minus root x close bracket then equals to 14 on this side now from what we have here this follows from power square that this one we have a square minus b square here this is a plus b then multiply by a minus b now when we apply this to what we have here yeah, this becomes root y plus root x into bracket root y minus root x close bracket then minus open bracket root y minus root x close bracket then equals to 14. Now from here we have root y minus root x common so we can factor that out and we have root y minus root x then into bracket what is left here is root y plus root x and what is left here is minus 1 then close bracket equals to 14 from here and here what we have here multiply and give 14 so here 14 can be separated as 1 times 14 and also we can separate it as 14 times 1 also we can write it as 2 times 7 and also can be written as 7 times 2 so these are the possible ways of writing 14 then which implies that if the first you know, term here is 1, the second will be 14, and if the fourth is 14, the second will be 1, and so on like that. So we can write this as root y minus root x now equals to here we take the fourth you know number, we have 1, 14, 2, then 7. For that and the second one which is root y plus root x minus 1 that take the second number so we have 14 then 1 then we have 7 then 2 now from here when we want to when we solve this equation let's add what we have here so when we add on this side we also need to add from here what we have 
then here this becomes root y plus root y they give us 2 root y then here minus root x plus root x has cancelled out then we have minus 1 now equals to here 1 plus 14 we have 15 then 14 plus 1 also 15 2 plus 7 that's 9 this also 9 here now from what we have also to remove this one let's add one on both sides so adding one on this side minus one we cancel one then we have add one on this side as well then what we have now become two root y then equals to here we have 16 16 then here is 10 and 10 then from here to remove this two we can equally divide through by two here then this remaining root y here now then 16 divided by 2 that's 8 then 8 10 divided by 2 that's 5 then 5 also here to remove square roots we can square both sides so we square each of these numbers as well then here remain y equals to here we have 64 then 64 25 then 25 so which implies that we have two possible values for y that is we have y to be equal to 64 or y equals to 25 so and from what we have here y cannot be 64 because everything y plus another thing is not even up to 64 from equation 1 and 2 so y plus something is not up to 64 that means here y cannot be 64 so we go for y equals to 25 then <coughs> from equation 1 which is root x plus y equals to 28 here when we substitute the value of y here, then we have root x plus 25 equals to 28. Then here, the 25 here, that means we have root x equals to 28 minus 25, which implies root x equals to 3. Now, square both sides. We have this cancel each other and x is equal to 3 squared that's 9. So therefore, from here, x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 25. So this here we have the solution to the given problem. And we can check from what is given. We have root x plus y equals to 28 in equation 1. Then in equation 2, we have x plus root y equals to 14. Now, when we substitute here, the value of x and y in equation 1, so this becomes root 9 plus 25 is equal to 28. And here, root 9, that's 3 plus 25. Is it the same as 28? Now, 3 plus 25 is 28. Which is same thing as 28. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. So it satisfies the first equation. Now, also the second equation here x is 9, then plus root 25. That is what we have here is equal to 14. Then here, you ask 9 plus root 25 is 5, is equal to 14, and 9 plus 5 is 14 which is equal to 14 so left hand side equals to the right hand side and end from here we can conclude that x here is equal to 9 and y is equal to 25 thank you for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell see you next class and bye for now